The home buying process can be very daunting. Where do you start? What's all involved? In this video, I'll go over 10 steps to home ownership in Orlando. Hey, I'm Dan Ganader, a real estate agent in Orlando, Winter Park, Florida. The goal of this channel is to be a resource for the real estate process and the Orlando area. If you get value from this video, please like and comment. It really helps out the channel and consider subscribing if you haven't already. The first step is to save for a down payment. You can do that by creating a budget and cutting down on some of your extra expenses. Setting up an automated savings plan can be helpful. Step two, know your credit score. Keep in mind that the credit score that's used by most mortgage lenders is your FICO score, which can vary from the credit score you can get from websites like Credit Karma. Depending on who you bank with, sometimes they can tell you your credit score via your banking app. Once you know your score, try to clean up any debt you may have. This will also help you qualify for a bigger loan if you can keep your debt to income ratio low. Step three, find a real estate agent. Really, this could have been step one, but I put it as step three because sometimes it can be a journey to save for a down payment and clean up your credit. However, you wanna start talking to a real estate agent sooner than later. Real estate agents can be a really great resource to help you through the beginning stages of finding a home, including giving you resources on how to save for a down payment, how much you'll need for a down payment, and more. Step four is getting pre-approved for a loan. I would also do this sooner than later. A mortgage loan officer is someone you can lean on for resources as well. They can give you a good idea of how much you'll need to save for a down payment and other tips to ensure that you get a loan that's the right fit for you. They can also tell you what your spending power will be. Step five, find a home. That's the fun part, right? Depending on your real estate market, it can be a frustrating process. Here in Orlando, we're currently in a seller's market and have been for a while now. A seller's market means there are more buyers than there are homes available on the market, supply and demand. You'll wanna talk with your real estate agent to let them know what you're looking for in a house. I like to show my clients homes sooner than later because it gives me a good idea of exactly what that client wants. When you're looking for a home, you quickly find out some of your must-haves may not be must-haves anymore and vice versa. Step six is making an offer. With your real estate agent, you'll determine a price to offer and they'll help you with the negotiation process. With it being a seller's market here, I suggest my clients come with a solid first offer. Most homes are getting multiple offers, so what's happening is the sellers will pick the one that works best for them and there won't be much back and forth fourth, so you really want to come with a strong offer. Step seven, have a home inspection. Some people think that you have to have a home inspection. It's actually optional, believe it or not. I always encourage my clients to get a home inspection. This will give you a good idea of what kind of condition the home is in. Here in Florida, most real estate transactions are using what's called an as-is contract. That means exactly what it sounds like. You're buying the home as is. However, during the inspection period, you can negotiate with the seller to get things repaired on the home or ask for a seller concession. Even though you have an accepted offer in the inspection period, the negotiation process is still happening. Step eight, get a home appraisal, survey, title, and lien search. Most mortgage lenders will require you to get a home appraisal. The home appraisal is to ensure the property is worth the price you're offering to pay. If you're buying a single family home, most lenders will require you to get a land survey. The land survey is used to determine where the property line is and to make sure there aren't any land disputes. A title and lien search is done to verify that the title is clear to be transferred to new owners and there aren't any liens on the home, like back taxes or other money that's owed that is associated with the house. Step nine is closing the sale. You'll sign paperwork to transfer the home over to you. And step 10 is another fun part. You get to move into your new home. 
Now that's a very abbreviated step-by-step. -step. Everyone's situation is different. Keep in contact with your real estate agent and mortgage loan officer, and they can guide you through anything that may come up during the home buying process. Have you bought a home before? How did it go? Let's chat in the comments below. My contact information is in the description if you ever need anything. Also in the description, I have a link to homes that are currently on the market. The list gets updated faster than Zillow and Realtor.com. Check it out if that would be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.